Hi FME friends, today I wanted to do a quick video on how to deal with JSON data that comes out of an API you may have called using the HTTP caller. That's what I did here and I get this response which looks a bit bad but what I can do is I can click on the button here say actually that's JSON data and now we get a much better data structure in there and I can see some of the uh, steps in the hierarchy. So what I want to get out of these is a different feature for every one of this set of um, features in the trajectory. So how do I do that? Well, I've already done it. I just wanted to show you how I got to the point where I did that. Um, so JSON Fragmenter, pick the response body. The default query is this asterisk. And that basically means find everything at the top level. And if I look at that, it, I can see it's uh, fragmented my um, uh, JSON into four parts. The part I know I need is a prediction. So I can go back into here and change that asterisk to be quote prediction. And now I just get the prediction section. Now there's another part to this. There's a few more steps in the hierarchy. So I'm going to put another JSON fragmenter down. Same deal. I'm going to start out with the asterisk. See what I get back out of that. So I've got zero and one are the two values now. Well, I don't know what they're supposed to be deliminating or is that the right word? So I'm going to keep those for now because I think I need both of them. Oops. And I'm just going to duplicate that transformer and run it again to give me the next step down which I've got four parts, stage and trajectory twice, and I know that I want the trajectory. So I can come back into here and put the quote on again and say trajectory, run that. What do we get this time? We get the two items. Uh, I probably want both of them, so I'm going to put another JSON fragmenter down. And I'm going to... Um, leave it as the asterisk, see what we get out of that. And it's 1400 features, so that's the uh, record I need with all of the uh, coordinates in. So what I can do at this point is just say, okay, flatten that into a, a set of attributes for me. And uh, that's what I will get. I will get all of these attributes, longitude, latitude, date, time, and altitude for all of those times. Great. But I've got it in one transformer here. So how did I do that? Well, really, these quotes, these um, uh, queries that I've got in there, they are cumulative. So I can just say, let's copy that and put it into the end of here. And now we'll copy the trajectory and the star. And we put it at the end of here. Now let's copy all of that part and put it into here, or at the end of here. And you can see I'm building up my query into those four different parts, like so. So I just need to say, yeah, let's flatten it there, delete that, run, and uh, that's my result, which is what I needed. Now there is another way that we can do this that is probably a better way, a simpler way perhaps, uh, if you know about it. What I can do is I can say, put an attribute file writer in there, and I can take the contents of the response and I can write it to a file. And here I just called it deleteme.json. I'm going to use UTF encoding just in case. So I run that little bit, write the file out, and now when I place a JSON fragmenter, oops, what I can do is instead of saying it's an attribute, I can say it's a file, browse to that file, and now when I query it, I can actually go through here and say, ah, prediction, array, stage, trajectory, array values, that's what I want. There's the query it's created below. So I'm, I'm selecting it visually rather than having to go through that uh, steps I did before. And that's really all I need to do, and I can just say yes to that. Delete the attribute file writer because I don't need it anymore. And actually I can flip that. I should flip this back to attribute because obviously that's going to change every time. So I can delete that file. And that's how basically I got to this point here in my workspace. 
So that was a quick five minute demonstration of how to deal with JSON um, information that you uh, call from uh, an H that you get from an API called from the uh, HTTP caller. So yeah, I hope that was useful. Um, tune in another time to uh, watch another one of these videos. Thanks folks, bye.